Hi and welcome back to Power Breakers Golf Academy. I'm Bernard Sheridan and today we're going to take a look at the number one player in the world on the LPGA Tour, Stacy Lewis. And Stacy just had another win which secured that number one spot for her. So what we're going to look at first is her takeaway and you can notice that on the right her hands travel right along that hip plane and we know that if you've watched previous videos with par breakers you've seen these three planes uh, the hip torso and shoulder or low medium and high and she's going to take away on that hip plane and by the time she gets her hands just to about eight o'clock uh, I want to say around eight o'clock that shaft is parallel and the face is ever so slightly closed and as she moves to the top she gets to her torso plane at that halfway back position at nine o'clock and then up to the top and her arm is right on her shoulder plane face is just a little bit shut at the top at this position uh, if we take a look at the position on the left we can see that her head is moved back to the rear post and um, so Stacy is a two post swinger and a two plane swinger so she as she goes back and if we look at this again her head starts right at the green post which is center post as she goes back she gets her sternum right onto that rear post and then rotates right around that up to the top she's a little short of parallel um, and face a little bit closed as she starts down she'll she'll track initially that shoulder plane club starts to fall below it that's what we want to see and right down to her torso plane and at impact at the torso plane head is at the center pivot position now but I want you to notice that she has moved that core of the center of her body to that front post at impact she's maintaining her posture and as she comes out, she kind of swings right along her shoulder plane and gets to a full finish. And her skull is well ahead of that original front post. This is a great position to get to. Notice, too, her shoulders are very level. And she's up on that rear toe. Full release through the ball. Great positioning. So... What are some of the things that we can learn from this, this um, swing? Well, one is, as Stacy releases, her arms extend. Her right arm doesn't become fully extended until it's well out in front of her. See, many amateurs with their right arm extended by this position, and if we notice in both the down-the-line position and the face-on, Stacy's right elbow was still flexed, bent, until she's past impact where she fully extends almost to the 9 o'clock position and out to a full finish. So what you can think of is don't let that right arm extend until after impact and make sure that you're over that front post and rotate around that front post through impact. And that will help you tremendously to be a straighter ball striker and have a better weight shift, just like Stacy Lewis. So for Par Breakers Golf Academy, as always, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, we also do a weekly podcast on iTunes called Breaking Par. Just go up to iTunes and go to the podcast area and type in Breaking Par, and you'll see tons of... Uh, podcasts up there there's already 17 up there and you can enjoy that and listen to that on a weekly basis and we would love for you to leave a review as to what you think so you can also leave a comment below this video as to what videos you would like to see us put together and put on the power breakers channel on youtube 
and what problems you're having with your swing, let us know, and we'll do our best to post a video to address that problem. And stay tuned because soon we will be releasing a members-only area on our website, which will be premium content in video instruction and video tutorials that you can watch at your leisure whenever you wish. Thanks so much, and until next time, I'm Bernard Sheridan. Try to keep it in the short grass.